Hola, hola. Hello, hello. <risa> um, Transcription, no. Trans bueno, somos nosotras nomás, igual. ¿Mm? Ah, bien. Bueno. Bueno, mi nombre es Angie Cervellera. Soy del programa de Cultura y Conocimiento Abierto de Wikimedia Argentina. Y hoy les voy a contar un poco de un proyecto eh, titulado Código Cultura. Eh, la, bueno, jugar con las colecciones abiertas. En realidad ese es el, la, el nombre de la sesión, pero el proyecto es Código Cultura. Ah, yo tengo esto. Bien. ¿Qué hay preto? <risa> ah. <risa> Bueno, primero contarles un poco el por qué surge este proyecto, eh, que yo considero que es una respuesta ¿no? al contexto de lo, las instituciones argentinas, eh, las instituciones culturales argentinas, en lo que, a ver, con lo que comprenden sobre el acceso abierto, ¿no? que muchas veces queda, eh, digamos, eh, a través de la formación que damos Wikimedia Argentina y todos los programas, nosotros hacemos grandes esfuerzos porque las personas comprendan lo que es el acceso abierto. Y si bien esto se comprende, muchas veces queda como una idea abstracta, ¿no? como un concepto que tal vez queda eh, reducido a abrir colecciones, a, a cargarlas en Wikimedia Commons, pero después no queda muy claro qué se puede hacer o, o, o digamos, cuáles son esos beneficios. ¿No? Eh, el proyecto, bueno, también da, da respuesta, digamos, eh, observa esta situación de una falta de, de recursos en general, recursos eh, técnicos, eco, este, humanos, recursos sí, económicos, financieros, eh, que hacen que las instituciones argentinas se les dificulte implementar proyectos en el marco del de acceso abierto y sobre todo proyectos innovadores. Por otro lado, notamos también, y es lo que solemos hacer desde Wikimedia Argentina, ¿no? que es trabajar por proyectos, proyectos específicos que les hagan sentido a esas comunidades culturales ¿no? y, no, y no ir con paquetes eh, generales, globales, ¿no? con soluciones que quizás traemos de, de otros continentes, ¿no? de otros países donde funcionan y quizás en, la, en el contexto argentino esto no es tan así. En definitiva, como pongo eh, al final de la, de la presentación, hay quizás una falta de motivación de poder adoptar finalmente las eh, licencias libres o, o poder eh, adoptar políticas de acceso abierto. Eh, ¿Tengo que apretar acá? Ajá, ajá, ya estoy descubriendo. Bueno, por eso nace la idea de jugar con las colecciones. Eh, Do you want me to speak in English also? I can do it. <laughs> I can do half and a half. Um, I was saying in the previous slide that there is a different context in, for uh, cultural institutions in Argentina um, that involve um, less resources, economical resources, human resources. Um, there's like a lack of, of understanding The people understand what's uh, open access, but they don't really understand um, what it's for. No? So that's why we are thinking on this kind of type of projects I'm going to explain about. Uh, in, it, it is called um, Código Cultura, Jugar con las colecciones, that it means playing with collections, with cultural heritage. <laughs> so, uh, bueno, nace esta idea entonces de jugar con las colecciones. Eh, teniendo como foco a, a los públicos, ¿no? a las audiencias de los museos, eh, pensar en alguna manera de poder interactuar, de, de poder generar diferente eh, vínculo con, con las personas, con los visitantes, eh, de reimaginar también, ¿no? bueno, justamente yo creo que el acceso abierto nos, nos permite esto, que es eh, transformar, dar nuevos sentidos a... a Um, elementos de, de la cultura, de, las, de, de los distintos contextos, y poner a dialogar finalmente, con el objetivo siempre ¿no? de difundir la historia y la cultura local. And now in English. <risa> eh, 
Um, this idea of playing with the collections has um, has to do with thinking no, on, on the different audiences, audience, audiences and publics of uh, museums and other archives or, or libraries. Sorry, my background is museums, so I always talk like about museums. Um, thinking on more participation, more um, in interactive uh, ways of approaching people, reimagining re um, um, what's heritage about, um, what, why it, is it important for our culture, for our history, and uh, starting new, new dialogues with people. So, <laughs> so de nuevo, ¿qué es Código Cultura? Finalmente, Código Cultura es un programa ¿sí? de formación, mentoreo y financiamiento de, de proyectos vinculados a tecnologías interactivas que impliquen finalmente la circulación de conocimiento abierto. Eh, es, un, digamos, es una manera justamente de, de, de generar un, una, a ver, una instancia más innovadora que involucre el acceso abierto, que involucre abrir colecciones, pero que no sea simplemente subirlas a Wikimedia Commons, por ejemplo, ¿no? o cargarlas en Wikidata, sino que es un poco empezar al revés, empezar por qué, qué es lo que queremos hacer ¿Y cómo lo podemos lograr? Bueno, pensar en el acceso abierto como una herramienta y como una, sí, como una manera de llegar a ese objetivo. El año pasado fue la primera edición y este año también quizás hagamos algo, un poco más, con algunas, algunos cambios, porque siempre de todo esto se aprende. <risa> so, Código Cultura y se Program. Um, um, a mentoring and um, training program and financial program at the end from Wikimedia Argentina for projects on museums, archives and libraries um, related to new technologies and open access. Um, it's about thinking more uh, what, in, instead of thinking why um, I mean, just uploading pictures to Wikimedia Commons to make them accessible is like thinking the other way. Like, okay, we want to do this project and why open access can be a, um, a tool for that. Um, first edition was in 2022 and this year we are going to, to do it again with some changes. El programa está estructurado a través de, de, de distintos contenidos en acceso abierto, en propiedad intelectual, en, en estructuras lúdicas y narrativas, básicamente al final fueron videojuegos, y obviamente los proyectos Wikimedia, ¿no? Digamos, todo ese marco conceptual sobre este, por, qué, por qué el acceso abierto, básicamente, por qué el conocimiento libre, eh, vinculado a los proyectos Wikimedia, y luego estas, como estos eh, bloques de contenido que que terminan dándole como este sentido de, bueno, este, la idea es poder generar proyectos de, de, de vinculación a través de la tecnología, más interactivos. ¿no? Tuvimos actividades, bueno, tuvimos clases sincrónicas con, con docentes especializados en distintas temáticas, como, bueno, propiedad intelectual, eh, videojuegos, estru este, estructuras, gracias, ah, estructuras narrativas. Eh, tutores también que fueron este, ayudando a los distintos grupos que se postularon a esta convocatoria y bueno, el equipo de Wikimedia Argentina, dando, dando apoyo y, y sobre todo, bueno, enseñando eh, cómo utilizar los proyectos Wikimedia. Usamos también una, entre las actividades, generamos unos Padlets colaborativos, ah, creo que viene después la, eh, una imagen ejemplo, son unos documentos entregables, entonces... Eh, semana a semana los participantes tenían que eh, generar documentos aplicando todo lo que, ve, y lo, todo lo que veían en, en esta formación. So, <laughs> we had different contents on this program, eh, on open access, um, project um, management, let's say, uh, intellectual property, um, oh, this is difficult to say, um, well, video games. <laughs> And, and Wikimedia projects. Uh, we had different activities like, well, um, online uh, virtual uh, videos, um, in person, I mean, no in person, um, and at, at the same time, <laughs> uh, 
not asynchronic. Um, we had uh, uh, some padlets, collaborative padlets to do activities um, and the, this, these people that, that were joined this program were organized in groups, in working groups. So they had to um, complete some documents they had to, to deliver uh, week to week. No? So it was a hard, it was a really hard um, mentoring program. <laughs> and we were, um, um, we had uh, some special specialized um, teachers in all these different um, contents and well, some tutors for these groups to work specially on how to, to, to achieve all these uh, tasks. And well, the Wikimedia Argentina uh, team. Ah, this is an example um, about the um, one of these padlets. Um, in this one, this uh, we, we can see that there was the, the task was to analyze the situation of the museum or the archive or the library, the institution. Um, to know what was the, the initial situation, what what was intended to change, the what was the, the situation that they would like to achieve. So these um, Spanish people can read it because it's in Spanish, but in English, basically, um, this group says, for example, that um, a, a problem they could, they could um, uh, detect <laughs> was that there, the um, people on, on, on this uh, place didn't know about the origins. They didn't know how the, um, the village was created, who was like, how, yes, how was created, who were the first people that uh, were the, the first habitants. Um, that there was a, a lack of um, communication with community, for example. The, the, the desired situation was community um, to be um, to be more active in the in their own local history context, uh, everyday construction, no? and so there was like um, a, an objective idea that they defined that was like, making accessible for for everyone the historical heritage of of that city that is Plaza Winkle, and we will see this this one is the the, the project that finally wins the financial aid. Ah, there's another example of one of our <laughs> one of our um, classes about uh, video games. That was a really um, fun uh, topic and innovative because no one in, in I mean um, these people that joined the program they really didn't know anything about about all this world. Neither me, so <laughs> I learned a lot and. Um, well, we, we explored about uh, how to design, uh, how different types of, of games were able to, to help people to understand better heritage, uh, to solve puzzles, for example, um, to have a character, uh, I don't know, making a quest to look up after objects. So there were a lot of like, very good ideas as regards uh, how to be more interactive with people. Um, um, with their own collections. No? And well, this question is like, where are the projects wiki in all these? No? <laughs> I'm talking about video games and open access. And what about wiki projects? Well, they are the support, the, the technical support, let's say, for um, having information uh, to solve all these kind of, of tasks or quests inside the video games to add uh, general information about the places that uh, all these, um, all, all, all these uh, projects um, are from, like to, to make people understand the context, no? For example, well, I'm giving examples again, ah. but for example, a, a video game about a historical place would need um, Wikipedia to have good information about that place so it was a motivation for these people to start editing and making uh, um, contributions to, to, to Wikipedia. To Wikimedia Commons also a place to, to, to put all the, the images, the used images or the referenced images, like the um, um, obras derivadas, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> 
derivated words. Okay, works. And well, to promote activities on content creation that maybe are inside the same game, like for example, a character that, I don't know, asks uh, students to create new content and to continue uh, that uh, instance, you have to go and create content in Wiki. This is an example again, uh, Carmen Funes, that is um, the first uh, person that um, um, lived in, in Plaza Winkle, this, um, <laughs> the, the city about the video game that won the financial aid um, was um, improved a lot after the video game. So there's also an image, an historical image about the, um, how the city looked like, uh, like 50 years ago, something like that. That's from the archive and uh, the other information also was um, improved by uh, this group of people. One from, was from the archive of, of the city and the other one from the museum. So we had like these two people very engaged on contributing to Wiki. Well, and here's the, I'm going to speak more about the financial, the, the project that won, that was this one, Carmen Funes, Adventures in the Past. <laughs> that was in charge of the archive, this historical archive of Plaza Winkle and the Museo Carmen Funes. It's a video game where this character, Carmen, um, the first person that habits Plaza Winkle, invites to reconstruct the identity of this village no? by um, uh, having to investigate different objects historical objects that has to be uh, put on a map. Like that's the, the idea of the game. So uh, in this game, let's see, yes. In this game, um, we, we can see there, there really are not images about the, uh, of the museum, but there are a lot of, when you click on different objects, they go to um, recreated images of, for example, that historical picture, um, or they go in the computer, they go to the article of Wikipedia and all these objects have information that can be found in these projects. No? And so people who are playing have to go and um, um, contribute or just search for this information. It can happen that they don't find the information, maybe they can contribute as well. That would be awesome. So we have some challenges, <laughs> um, challenges that we will take into account this year for the next edition. For example, uh, institutions being very bureaucratic on a lot of topics, um, but firstly on receiving the financial aid, it was sometimes very difficult to like to make the group, the, the exact group that worked in this receive the financial aid because bureaucracy. <laughs> um, then these people that were part of the group, they, well, they are cultural professionals, they work on uh, every day on their museums, their archives, so they didn't have that much time to, to really uh, work every day on this project. So it was really an effort uh, for them as well. Um, well, as from our side, uh, the, um, all these video games or interactive processes are really expensive. So we had to really um, try to adjust uh, budgets and try to be like um, local, I mean, um, realizable. How do they say realizable? <laughs> Achievable. Thank you so much. Achievable. <laughs> Um, well, the, 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 again, like this, this um, uh, collaborating with Wikimedia projects was um, uh, difficult because of the lack of time of these workers that they had to uh, produce this video game and at the same time uh, look for a lot of information to, to make better Wikimedia Commons and Wikipedia. And another challenge was um, that the final, final product is in open licenses also. So the video game itself, it has to be 
um, open license. So there was a lot of, of talking also with uh, the, the other professionals, the programmer, the, this, the graphic designer, like make them understand also as well uh, what is open access and why this is important, um, that is, it keeps like this. No? Um, about this, the idea, ah, maybe I say it here. So, so. Well, <laughs> the idea <laughs> was that this, is, this was in open access also um, because other institutions can grab this whole project and um, have some parts of the coding or su substitute uh, some images or create, like create their own video game, but having something that's a basis. So we have like the first, uh, we, we make an, an opportunity for others no, to replicate. So um, other opportunities were compromising people with open access and, and free culture. Um, the alliances we could, um, we can make with other people from the industry, no? like from this uh, innovative industry of video games or in interactive um, products. Um, at the same time, think of new ways to be mo Wikimedia movement more relevant maybe for even for, for young people, no? Like start thinking that maybe, uh, I mean, it's super significant to, to upload documents to commons, but maybe if you explain this to a young guy, he won't understand really why. So thinking on projects that were uploading and implementing this is part of, um, it's, it, it may be more relevant and it may take more people to the movement as well new people <laughs> then uh, well finding yes motivation to collaborate with the projects that was a big opportunity and i think it was fulfilled <laughs> and um well um the free um, how can i say that well open up information and audiovisual content as well um so well, I think that's all. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening. And I'm open for any questions as regard this. <laughs> Thank you. Any questions? I have eight minutes left. Where can we find the games? Ah, I can repeat the question. Um, OK. Wait, I have to repeat. Where can you find the games you created? Well, that's important. Important question. This project was, um, I mean, it started in 2022, but <laughs> it started at the end of the year. So it is. It has just. It's just been finalizing. What the the, the screenshot that I showed is just um, a demo of this video game. So it is being finished right now. Um, it will be uploaded to the Wikimedia, um, our Wikimedia Argentina um, website with a landing page, but it's still not there. <laughs> um, currently, we can access to, um, to, to a version where we can play and taste and um, try it. But I, I, later I can sh show you how to access because we need a password. <laughs> it's just to try it and make improvements. But yes, that's the idea. <laughs> oh, question, yes. Thank you, thank you so much for this brilliant presentation. So uh, I have a question about you. Uh, have you ever like collaborated with any other communities or any user groups or you try to engage other people from uh, like globally in Wikimedia with your project because it's amazing project and I think you should do it if you are not but <laughs> I would like to hear from you. Oh okay I really didn't I mean, this was very local local idea but if you say so <laughs> um, Wikimedia well uh, what is we, the, the, the GLAM team of Wikimedia Foundation is, uh, knows about this project because um, 
has she, they had um, partially uh, financiated it or put some money, <laughs> some aid. So they know about this project. Um, we had to keep talking to to be o sea, to, to, to see how much um, results does it has, no, as regards uh, numbers and um, the impact. But I think if I think if, if it's interesting for you, maybe <laughs> it will be interesting for more people. So thank you so much for that comment. <laughs> thank you. Bueno. Well, thank you very much. <laughs>